Hi Stanford students, my name is Wade Martin and I am the Information Management Officer at the U.S. Embassy in Rome, Italy. My team and I are excited today to provide you with this two-minute video outlining our challenge proposal for your Hacking for Diplomacy project. We think we have a challenge for you to take on that will greatly enhance the lives of migrants around the world. As you may or may not know, most of the world is dealing with challenges supporting migrants and transient populations. Here in Rome, we are currently working with the Joel Nafuma Refugee Center on a voluntary basis. The JNRC welcomes up to 250 guests a day, and the JNRC provides a safe place for guests to relax, recharge, and recuperate from the daily struggles they face. Some of the projects we are currently engaged in with the JNRC are IT infrastructure expansion. My task was to enhance the information technology outreach for the JNRC. We were able to identify and grant five complete desktops from Access Stock and the kit them with the new disks, RAM, and Wi Fi connectivity thanks to a 1500 grant provided by our public affairs agency. The Train the Trainer program. With the help of a J. Kirby Simon Foreign Service Trust grant, we are supporting a Train the Trainer project at the Joel Nafuma Refugee Center here in Rome to teach sewing techniques and garment construction to immigrants. This grant allows for expansion of the sewing equipment and materials currently available to immigrants at the center who may not have access otherwise and will provide a fully functional and flexible space to either learn or improve sewing skill sets. The goal of this grant is to train immigrants to a level where they can continue teaching others and to help develop the skills that can help them find employment on the local economy. A refugee art display. Try Mission Rome is working on a collaboration with JNRC and the Embassy Art Program to display refugee artistic talents through website and in the Embassy. And we're also donating communication technologies. It's good that we can repurpose old and obsolete radio equipment, such as these 50 radios here. Previous to these 50 radios, we did another 50 radios to the World Food Program. All of these agencies are supporting the refugee status here in Italy. As you can see, we're doing a lot of work to help provide solutions for integrating migrants into local communities. The one area we have yet to make progress in and the backbone of our challenge to you is highlighting job skills and linking those skills with willing partners in the private sector. We want to leverage technology and your skills to build a user-friendly skills database and link these skills to potential work opportunities. Since migration happens across the world, we would like the platform to be mobile and country neutral so it can be accessed by anyone, anywhere, and anytime for all the benefit. As a visual reference for you, we've seen an app that we like called the Refugee Aid app, an app developed during a State Department tech camp in Slovenia, an event that brought tech people together with social communities to highlight problem sets and develop solutions. Our hope is that we can work with Stanford and your group to develop a similar app focusing on skill sets and job integration. We've outlined the following areas as a start, but are completely open to changes based on your research and requirements gathering. We've also been in contact with individuals working on the White House Partnership for Refugees project, and we think there's a natural fit with the employment and integration objectives between what we are trying to accomplish with you and what they are trying to accomplish. This is an opportunity for you to change the way people live and to also partner with a major presidential and White House program. We appreciate your time and interest and hope that you accept our challenge so people around the globe can benefit. Thank you.